My family tree can be traced back to the dawn of the 20th century. Scientists searching for the perfect answer to the ever-growing demand on modern consumerism. A diverse material that would replace the diminishing supply of natural polymers such as ivory and silk. My father was patented on October 16, 1953 by scientist Hermann Schnell at the Bayer Labs in West Germany. They named him Polycarbonate. He was optically clear, virtually unbreakable, and could be made in any colour. His applications range from police bubble lights, kitchenware, electrical housings, and widespread use across the automotive industry. I guess you could say he's pretty tough. And for myself, well, I was born in 2015, on the outskirts of Shanghai. See, I was grafted with my father's DNA, but specifically engineered to keep up with the modern times. Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, a process Hermann Schnell could only have dreamt of. Today, the manufacturing process has shifted to a digital state. No longer do you have to rely on scientists and engineers to shape your world. A new generation of makers have the freedom of unlimited geometry. The laboratory has been scaled to the desktop, and the desktop is available to the masses. Never before has a young polymer had such big boots to fill to carry on my father's legacy and expand on his empire. Through Polymaker's partnership with Covestro, known by my father's generation as biomaterial science, they've made me different from my father, more precisely engineered and optimized for 3D printing, finally able to branch into the few corners my father could never reach. After years of research and development, Polymaker's scientists are ready to bring me to life. Firstly, I'm blended and tested for consistency. If I pass, I tumble into a volumetric hopper. Then I'm melted, compounded, and extruded. At this point, I have all my ingredients, but I'm nothing to be proud of yet. After extrusion, I'm pelletized and checked for compositional accuracy. Once my engineers are happy, I'm thrown into the hopper for online drying, gently brought up to heat, and extruded into my transient form, the filament. Then, I'm gradually cooled before 45 mile an hour winds blow me dry. I'm confident as I shoot through the laser gauge, guided through two rubber belts, and spooled. Sent off to the post-processing lab for the secret behind my optimization, a moment of tranquility to focus my chi and align my polymers. Back to the test lab, and I'm snipped and sampled, stretched to test my strength, heated to test my glass transition temperature, smashed to test my impact resistance. Sent off to the spoolers, carefully and perfectly aligned. I'm spooled in flawless formation, dried in an oven for 24 hours, then suffocated of air and moisture as I'm individually vacuum packed into a resealable bag. At last, I'm ready to start my journey, break free from my metaphor and experience limitless geometry. Whereas your average filaments start to soften at 60 degrees Celsius, I can withstand more than double that heat, allowing me to tolerate boiling water without losing shape. I don't warp when I'm printed. I can be sanded without softening and lacquered to be made transparent. It's these factors that make me more practical. I'm targeted at the real world of functioning parts, not the fantasy world of figurines and trinkets. I'm the secret weapon in the maker's armory. With my bespoke properties, I'm stretching the boundaries of current filament limitations. I can become any shape. I can inspire a generation. I am Polymaker Polycarbonate. <laughs>